guys, Retro's YT here with you. Another episode of the Sims 4 Collections Challenge. Now already you should be able to tell that something is a little bit different here, guys. And that is because I had talked for a while, or the last few episodes I mentioned moving Liana and Morgan to a new house, and that's exactly what we've done. So I have to tell you guys I'm super duper proud of this because this is my first full build and it looks like a house so I'm super duper excited I'm going to show you around the house give you a little tour here and then I'm going to um, show you some pictures of the house that I modeled this after I discovered that like with drawing when I used to try to draw <laughs> I am just not able to do it, at least not starting off, without a model. I have to have a model to look at to try to figure out how to build. Once I had the model, I was okay. So that's just what it takes for me and for some people, I guess. I really admire the people that can just pick up an idea from their brain and put it down uh, onto the Sims and build it. I am not able to do that yet. Maybe later when I've had a little bit more practice, I can. But for right now, I just had to have the model. So let me take you on a brief tour and then I'll show you the pictures. And if we have time after that, I will go ahead and we'll do some gameplay. So I showed you the outside a little bit here. Let's go off through the outside real quick, uh, just to show you what I did with Royal Gardens. By the way, just for the record, <laughs> if any of you guys decide to do a collections challenge, moving a sim or two who have done the collections challenge is a pain in the tush butt <laughs> because they just have so many things that you have to put into the inventory and then drag back out again once you get to the new house so it took me quite a lot it kind of took me all day to do this but that's another reason i'm so proud of it and i want you guys to see so here's the front yard i reclaimed our little uh merged froggy fountain for the two parts together. I also, I had this on the old lot, uh, this kind of Spanish looking fountain, but it was like way back in the left corner so you couldn't really see it. I really wanted to put it front and center this time because it reminds me very much of Sel Salvador, Salvadora, where Liana has been going to get some of her artifacts and stuff. So I wanted to put that front and center. So that's there. We uh, put some some crocus flowers what i tried to do was put just the flowers around her house so all of these that you're going to see around the house here are flowers i did not put all of her plants out because i figured they you know unless she just they start really hurting for money uh, i'm not going to put them all out just because there's so many and i don't think it needs it i it, if i put them all out it would just really clutter up the space but yeah we got the flowers going along the house here uh her fruit trees all together all the way back to here then over here in the corner I've got Morgan's magic plants a mandrake plant and the valerian plant I don't I really don't know what he's supposed to do with those I have never done that I've never really played the magic thing but but that's what they are those are just his little corner I love this window thing yeah I have the dining table in there obviously but then we go over here and this is this side over here is really where her gardens are. I actually didn't put any of the vegetables out yet. I still have all those plants. I just didn't want to put them all out because I don't know if we really need them. Most of the money she's making is from her flowers anyway. If we need them later, I can always pull them back out. But for now, anyway, the rose bushes, the ones that really make me a lot of money, I did put out more of those than the other stuff, like the rose bushes and the snapdragons. Those are lined up all along here. Oh, uh, her cow plants, by the way, if you didn't see them, they're over here got the little lights by them and for whatever reason they're still stuck in a little baby form even though when I go to feed them or something it shows the like the drool hanging down from like they're the big ones I don't know why it's like that but some kind of bug anyway so her roses and snapdragons here more flowers along the way and then again it's just the stuff it's mainly flowers she has I think I put a little bit of a or where did I put her herbs it's a little bit of an herb garden somewhere. Now, where did I put it? Well, anyway, the in here we've got straw. The, these are the fruits that give us good money. So these are all the strawberries. I kept all of those. Then we have in here this little fourth trio of grapes because they get us good money too. Maybe later I'll plant some more if we need it. Blackberry bushes. I kept all of those too because they're so good uh, for money. And then these are all flowers. So flower and fruit. That's really what we kept. Is this my herb garden? 
Yes, sage, basil, parsley. Oh, and another basil flower for some reason. <laughs> anyway, this is our tiny little herb garden. We don't have much, many of those. They really don't sell for much anyway. So just the flowers and fruits that are going to make us money. All right, so that's what we did. I have all the vegetables and stuff. But, you know, they, again, just don't make much money. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Front door. We come in like this. And this is the entry hallway. The kitty trees here. We have a... Their fireplace over here with all the urns kind of stacked up there and, you know, the bookcases. Oops, sorry. Um, so there's that. I don't have a lot of decoration yet because we just haven't done a lot of that yet. But uh, here's the living room, which I probably should turn a light on in here. Hold on. Let's, um, oh, here, I meant to turn on, turn on. You know what? I'm just going to turn on the lights on right now so you can see. But this is the living room. Uh, the furniture. Obviously, I kept the furniture. There's the globe because that's just so perfect for these two characters and what they do. They got a huge TV. Uh, here's some of their shelves, which I don't have stuff in yet. I'll work on that later. I put her postcards in here. Want her five of them. She's going to get more. She's working on that. And I also put her plaques up here because I didn't feel like they really fit in the museum. So she can display them down here. The Golden Trilobite from the Symptonian Museum. This is the fossil collection, which she finished her fossil collection. So there's that award. And this one is for finishing her My Sims collection. So that way she can display them down here. And there's a few that they bought this at, uh, I can't remember if it was at the Romance Festival or if it was, um, uh, I think it was a romance festival where they bought this painting. I thought it was pretty cool. That or the I can't, I can't, flea market. Uh, as you can see here too, I put a few of these pots in here with snapdragons, strawberries, tulips, daisies, and straw, I should, chrysanthemum. Do I have a strawberry in here? Yeah, I do, don't I? Okay, there. Uh, the reason I put those in here is because those are guys that we need to have inside. I f finally figured this out after how many episodes <laughs> that the ones that are the, fl the flower combinations that aren't in season, what you need to do is plant them in the side so that they're always blooming and you can connect or uh, breed them then or crossbreed them. That's how we're going to crossbreed our new plants and get our collections up. So that's why they're there. And part of this room, I, it actually started out with one of those rooms you can buy hence the green shades and stuff and the lights on the wall here these guys and these these two lanterns or whatever you call them those were originally from and this table originally from one of those uh living rooms you can buy and i used that and just kind of built on it put my own stuff in it there's a mirror on the wall this this also was one of the rooms that you can buy it was a lot smaller but i i sized it up because of the size of the house so this is the bathroom I didn't do a whole lot to change this from the original one you buy. So you'll find this in the the Bible rooms part of The Sims if you guys want the the bathroom. But I love it, and I actually think it fits very well with, um, you know, the archaeology, science, just, just everything that goes with this family. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, this is the kitchen. And mostly the only new stuff. Other than the room itself is the rugs, just some, a few decorations. Most of this is just the stuff they had the other place. So they now have two tables. This is their one from the other house. And because they had so much space, I gave them an actual big table over here, right in front of the, the window room, which I love. So you can see Liana there hanging out and uh, eating. Yeah, this is all stuff from the other room. The two prints, microscopic prints that... Uh, Morgan has got at work. You can see that. Blemish Blossom and Rhapsody in Blue. I keep getting duplicates of those. It's really annoying. I want to get other stuff. But, and I added the carpets. And obviously, everything else is the same. All right. That is floor one. Obviously, you can see we have stairs going up. And uh, I built this room, and I'm actually really happy with this room because. Now that we're in a big house, as I mentioned before as well, we're going to be looking to make a family, have a family. 
So I designed this little kid's room, which I think is adorable. Um, I made it kind of gender neutral because we don't know if the baby is going to be a boy or a girl yet. But I decided, and this is kind of a big thing for us, I wanted to in some way try to bring this other collection in. The, oh, what are they called now? The Void Critters. That was another collection that I decided we probably weren't going to end up doing because it was kind of a kid thing based on kids and stuff that they would do. But guess what? They're going to have a kid. So I figured it would be the perfect time to get the kid, the rest of the family, um, into collecting. So all of these little pictures here that you see decorating this room, I got them all around the room. All of these are Void Critter stickers. So all along the walls, except for the balloons. Those I just put in because they're cute all of these guys and these guys and over here these are all void critters so it's a void critter themed room <laughs> i thought the gnome on the flamingo was really funny so i put that in they're all void critters and the one and only void critter that liana picked up at the festival i put right here cyprin whatever that means it's a element of fire kind of like pokemon cards Anyway, um, then they got their little cubby here. Once they get the kid gets some more of these void critters, they can start putting them in here. That'll be the kid's collection. And Blarf. They have to have a Blarfy. I mean, come on. And I found these, and I absolutely love them. Even if it's a boy, I guess it's okay to have these lit up butterflies. They're just so beautiful. Anyway, so that's the kid's room. And this is so cute, I had to put it into this little uh, crawl space thingy for toddlers. It was just really cute. And it fits sort of the nature-y aspect of the science and archaeology logical stuff okay uh the new bedroom mean new bath master bedroom put all her posters back up again so you can see them looks like i need to get another light to put over here i have some over here but i didn't really put any up here over here i thought that the little saucer light i guess would um illuminate it but it didn't all her posters still back up one more poster and we're going to be complete with that there's that and the new bathroom. The bathrooms are new. They're not the same ones that we had over at the other house. I don't know why I did that. I think when I was doing the layout, I just wanted to make sure that I put bathroom stuff in there so that I remembered <laughs> that uh, that it was going to be a bathroom. So that's probably why I did the new stuff. I, I just got rid of their old stuff. That The bathrooms weren't really that big a deal to me, but there's a new bathroom. The second floor bathroom. And then this is the second floor museum hallway. I really did try to make it look like a museum. So the people come up. It'd make more sense if the stairs are over here, I guess, for that. But anyway, this is the hallway outside of the, the, the first floor or second floor museum, which I'm going to show you. I'm very excited about the museum, too. I'm just excited about everything. It's such a big moment for me, guys, because uh, I'm brand new to building pretty much. This is my first build that actually looks like something cool. So uh, anyway, this is kind of their crafting floor. It's right outside the museum. So we have the fabricator, the recycler, a uh, mirror, just some decorations. And of course, these cool looking Sandarian, uh, Sandarian, um, Salvadorian decorations, the flower arranging table, some seating for the visitors to the museum, archaeology table, and just Museum. I put the actually the TV in there because you know how sometimes when you go to a museum or something they have like displays, TV displays. That's what that's supposed to be. And this, my lovely friends, is our part, part, I emphasize part, of our new collections museum because the collections museum is in fact two floors. This is the whole point of moving to this new big space was to have room for our collections, which we're not finished with yet. But I got all the ones she had pretty much out in this room and the next floor. And of course, it's just going to grow. But I wanted to show you guys how I did this. And I'm so pleased with this. But there's her egg. She's got all fish. You're going to find fish all around the walls in the, in this, in the uh, museum rooms. We got her eggs. They're all over on this side. And I, when I moved the, the museum, the collections museum from the other place, I ended up putting different collections on different stands and i'm so so happy that i put the crystals here on the new stand because i mean look how much better they look and i got so many more crystals on this particular shelving than i did in the other ones from the old lot so look at this i got them all together and they look so cool in this glass case too so all the ones i have are here i wish i could have fit some more of these on here but they're at least together and of course the fish these are our my simmies 
right? They're called my Simmies. Uh, anyway, they're the ones from the Snowy Retreat. Is that what it's called? Snowy Retreat? Anyway, we're not entirely finished with those. We're getting close. They're all over here. And then the shelving. Uh, fish. Oh, hey, kitty. And a cat. <laughs> a spatula. I got a few of our medals out. I think I have some more I need to have uh, Morgan put out, but there's a medals. And I found these cool Salvadorian rugs when I was uh, decorating. And I put them under the fossils because it just fits, you know. A lot of these are Salvadorian. The fish, um, the fossils. That they're on the same table, actually. I had them on in the last place. Uh, snow globes. And these worked better, too, on the shelving. So snow globes, all of those that we've got. And then, and of course this pillar is really cool in the middle. So there's that. So that's the kind of the hallway outside the museum. Then you take the stairs to another upper floor of the museum. This one looks like a lot more sparse. There's a lot more space. Look at that pillar coming up through. That's so cool. Anyway, but there's a lot more space up here on the floor part, but we'll get there. These are all of our My Sims figurines. Look at that. They take up four of these little honeycomb things, but they're there. It's our first and only uh, sugar skull, but we'll get there. And then most of the Salvadorian stuff is actually up here. These are artifacts from there. Oh, that needs to move down at the metals. I'll have to fix that. But anyway, the my sims stuff these are all of our bugs that we currently have we're not finished but we've got space for more and her salvadorian artifacts are over here along the wall uh there's a voodoo doll i kind of thought it kind of fit with the vibe so that's there's her one artifact from salvadoria and this corner here is morgan's science museum or science lab if you will so he's got the cryogenic tube i wish they would make it so you could put stuff inside there that would be really fun and this, if you guys remember way back to towards the beginning of the playthrough, the one thing that Liana managed to successfully steal with her kleptomaniac trait was this little pink picture. Yeah, stolen from Waterside Warble. And it was in a bathroom at one of the bars. And I didn't realize even till now that it had a rocket in the middle. So I thought it was perfect to put over at Morgan's science lab, so to speak. And I've got the aliens that he's collected are over here. Um... The dead pink whale, which you really can't see real good in there. This is the live pink whale. It really doesn't look like a whale at all. It looks like some kind of, uh, sorry, it's kind of hard for me to, there. It looks like some kind of uh, lizard. Lizard with the, t I don't know, it doesn't look anything like a whale. <laughs> but that's there. And then the live red coral, which is really cool. It's got all this eye stalks. His elemental table with all those that we've collected, which obviously we have a few gaps. We're still working on it. And, of course, his science experimentation table. And this piece that I picked up, I can't remember where I picked this up. It might have been at the flea market. But I thought it was so gorgeous and I really wanted to have a space to use it. Well, now I do. This is the, I think it's called something like origami light. But it's origami birds like a statue that is going up like this and it's a light. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to actually have a place for that. So, uh, there we have it, folks. Um, there's one other thing over here and this will make a little bit more sense when I show you that when you see the pictures here at the end of the, uh, of the build that I did. But this is like a cupola or I guess that's what it's called. Unfortunately, I can't go up here to show you. There is a roof on this. Uh, you'll see it in the other pictures. But, this little place, I don't know what it was used for in the original house, but I I just made sure that they Sims had access to it, so they can come up here if they want to, and they can go in here. I mean, it's it's a room you can go into. Now, there's literally nothing in it yet, and just it looks like there's two floors to this, too, which I hadn't realized, so I might have to put a stairway in there. There's really literally nothing in here. Now, ideally, we would still have the smaller... Uh, telescopes from Sims 2 like they had those and that's what I put in here however unfortunately they do not have that they have the huge one that Morgan uses at work but it's here if they want to they can come up here and use it 
or, or walk in anyway. <laughs> I might have to put a stairway in here so they can get up top. But and again, when I show you the picture at the end of the video, we're gonna you'll be able to see that in the picture uh, of the house that I used as a model. So. Yeah, anyway guys, that's it. That's This is their new house. I'm super excited that they're here and I'm very, very proud of my build. Now, I again, I, I acknowledge that I my building, this is my very first full build, full build, the only one that I ever did by myself the whole way through. I know it's nothing compared to like little Simsy and uh, Deligracy and, and James Turner. I know it's nothing compared to what they build, but I'm very, very proud of this. <laughs> it's my first real build. Uh, full build so I hope you guys really like it I hope that you're excited to see what we've done here and to see how Morgan and Liana are progressing and they're going to be starting a family in this house they have tons of space to move and grow and I hope you guys really like it and at the end here I'm going to go ahead and put the pictures up so you can see uh, the actual picture that I modeled this house off of and you can see what I did. I put a before and after picture of mine and theirs. And at the end, I also am going to put on for you just a bunch of pictures of the old lot. For memory's sake, I thought we'd put that on here just so we can say, oh, I remember this fondly, <laughs> the, the old lot. So enjoy, guys. Love you. And if you enjoy this video, like and subscribe. And please join me again because we're going to keep going with Liana and Morgan. Retro signing out for now. See you next video. Bye.